Put some countertops in, three quarter inch sanded premium ply. It's a 24 inch counter back here. The rest are 19 deep. I'm doing this for engine purposes. I've got my engine compartment over here with a stand. So I can build me a nice 390 or maybe 351, 302 for the truck. And over here, we're gonna eventually build in some drawers. In the meantime, we'll do shelves. But all this over here is gonna be just under half inch. I'm having some trees cut down. Anyways, uh, this is gonna be shallower. I'll do about a 20 inch or 21 inch overhang. Have a little bit of room to clamp on. And then over here, this is a 25 inch top on a 24 frame. So if I need to put cylinder heads or something up here, et cetera, be nice. Uh, my mom bought me a router. Very appreciative of that. I'm gonna router all these edges, make them nice. It's gonna be really nice. It's gonna be a good shop. That's what we're doing today. I'm gonna try to get some time lapse. We'll see how it goes. So these screws, I wanted them to be flush down the end. They're not doing exactly what I wanted. I should have got a countersink bit. And, uh, but they're doing good. I'm fine with it. I'm just going to keep in mind, like whenever I'm doing like, if I have like a cylinder head or something up here to work on it kind of in the center, which is fine. There's plenty of room. I could fit a straight six head up here, no problem. Not hit a screw. I'm gonna coat these in some stain and hopefully I can just wipe off all of the oil or something on this engine side. Over here, I'm running into a conundrum. So I'm thinking either I'm gonna do this countertop, fit in there, or I need to bring it down so I can then have a proper way to mount this countertop, which will go something like that for the next piece. And, uh, which I gotta cut that. I think I'm gonna do it like that. This is all gonna be the three quarter inch, this whole way down here, and then fix that. And then uh, three quarter inch over here. And then I'll have all the rest to do with the half inch. So that's rocking and rolling. I'm gonna do a couple provisions and drill some holes. So electrical can pass through or route them out nice. I got plugs all down here. I got like 10 plugs just in this corner. Uh, this wall, they're all up high. That's why I put the countertop about an inch below the box. And there'll probably be a flat screen here one day or something. I don't know, a mirror, a mirror might be nice. And We'll do a little knockout over here. I'm trying to think of some resourceful ways to take advantage of this countertop. I got a good clamping surface over here on this one. Uh, that one's lower for like my daughter and wife to be able to use. You know, my wife's five foot, my daughter's probably gonna take after both of us being in the middle. I'm six, four, six, five. So I'm just trying to think of some cool little things to do in here maybe a hole or something so i can work on something through the counter if you've ever done machine work or anything like that you know what i'm talking about and then uh i do want to mount a table saw somewhere over here i'll figure that out i still got this four by four which is a real four by four not a three and a half by three and a half and then um, i've got a bunch out back on the trailer so i'm thinking i might build out this wall as well leave some room for windows or a door but my main problem here i need somewhere to mount that table saw it might, it might go over here i, I don't know 
And then um, I got to mount like a bearing press. Taking that off, taking this off. I'm gonna get me a good boss too. Put those up here or probably over here. This would be like my little hand tool working area because I got my fan. Anyhow, we'll get back to it. I'm following you. and a quarter and 63 and a half. I bought a new Diablo six and a half inch 24 tooth and then I got a 60 tooth for some ultra fine. I'm gonna do this and I'll I can't tell you how good this thing cuts. I'm being straight up. You gotta remember tailgate under there. I really need to build some saw horses. I don't have any. Trying to be extra careful about my cuts here. All right, so my cut here should get me knocked in pretty good. It is. I'm gonna mark it. See, so that's gonna be perfect. It'll notch in just right. And the same for over here. I just want to compliment myself on this cut real quick because what you don't see is this is out half an inch back here. It's, it's like this if this was hyper extended. So I, I'm trying to square it up. You know, this shop's really nice, but you know, there's just a little bit of uh, square here and there, which is perfectly fine. Let's try it. Beautiful. I'll router that smooth. I want you to see it. Oh, my back's done, so.
This is gonna get interesting over here. I'm gonna do a shelf. I gotta knock out for all the legs. Uh, I gotta tie this in. This is gonna be a little bit of work. Figure that out. This is a work in progress, I can tell you that right now. Well, that's that. Rounded my edges. I made a mistake right here. My bad. Tried going under. It's dumb. So these look really good. I mean, look at this edge. Yeah. Smooth. Smooth. Oh yeah, man, that's great. On other news. This has to be the most dangerous, wicked, awesome tool I've ever used. Old Ryobi. Little router here. This is fantastic. I feel the sneeze. Ah, you! Oh, you're welcome. Bless me. Let's go check out these trees. Let me grab some glasses. Run the house in a minute. So this guy's coming back to finish grinding the stumps, but what you can see, that stump right there is close to the box and this guy's trying to do it to code, you know? So he's like, hey, we're gonna have to get a permit up there. That's fine. So I'm hoping he can bust all these roots out. He said uh, for the price we paid, he was gonna include that. I asked him not to mess up Jack's yard too. Looks great. The driveway's kind of boogered up. It's okay, I gotta do a pressure wash on it for real. Man, this the sunlight. We're gonna plant maybe some silver, silver birch out here. Some nice mature ones, pay some good money for them. It'll be something that Mercy can see grow through her life and we'll see it too. And uh, just like these, these are gonna be like 20 something feet tall. But you know, silver birch, if you get the ones that have the three, my mom has some, they're beautiful. And uh, I think that's something Mercy would enjoy seeing as she gets older. And remember, you know, when we planted them, things like that. Mercy was not happy when that one tree got cut out. She said that's where she'd play with her toys. You call it her toy tree. I tried telling her though, and so did Megan that uh, sometimes some trees are about to fall and those Brad prepare, they were ready to go. Anyways, that's that for this video. Countertop success up here. I'm gonna keep buzzing this edge in and then uh, kind of check it out from there. I'm really, really, really impressed with that Ryobi, I have to say. Just look how she tied in here. But I gotta do the countertops under here Probably gonna do that with my mom later this week. Go from there. Who's pulling it? A bunch of strange traffic coming through here. 